time for another Bible lesson. I hope you've had a great week. And um, we're going to start with a review this morning. I have put all of our names of God that we have done so far um, on this chart. I ran out of room for the last one, so we'll have to erase and then we'll do the last one. I wanted to see if you could fill in the blanks. So turn off the tape and, well, maybe you can't turn it off yet, but let's just look at the first one. Okay, so this word right here, can you fill in the letters? A blank, E blank, O blank, E. Okay. And then blank O D. Can you fill that in? Or does that looks backwards to me? It's not backwards to you, I hope. Okay. So let's fill in W. And these might not look so good because I'm writing backwards. S. M, awesome, God, right? Or awesome almighty, oops, I goofed. I should have put almighty, that was my fault. Um, I should have written almighty on that blank. Okay, let's go to the next one. Now this time I left out the vowels and put the consonants. So B, R, blank, blank, D, and then a little word, and then L, blank, F, whoops, I put the E on there. So the that one should be what? Bread of life. Bread of life. If you have um, brothers or sisters at home, maybe you all could do this with each other practicing. Okay, and the next one, C and C. C and C. So let's see. We have all the vowels again, except for the consonants of the C. So we have caring... Creator. Caring Creator. Whoops. Yes, that's right. Caring Creator. Okay. Then we have D. And again, we have the vowels. D I I E. D E I E. S. O E. Look at all those I's and E's. Lots of I's and E's there. So let's do this one. Divine Deliverer. Divine Deliverer. Okay. Then we have E's. This time I put the consonants. So can you fill in the vowels? Remember, stop the video and you can practice this. Writing these or trying to see if your brother or sister can fill in. Exalted and everlasting, that's our God. And then the one that we didn't do that I didn't have room for. Maybe we can do this one like hangman. Let's see if you remember from last week. Okay, there's the blanks. F, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letter word. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letter word. Let's start and let's put in T's. 
if we're if we're doing like wheel of fortune we have to think of those letters that are the most common right whoops i put too many on here i gave the last word one too many okay so we have two t's now we can guess a vowel okay let's see what vowel do you want to guess if you guess an e there's one e okay uh, you want to guess another vowel? Let's go with A. Um, now what letter would you like to guess? How about H? We have two H's. Do you have it figured out yet? What this one is, I bet you do. Let's put the R in. So we have father. What kind of father do we have? Let's try the other vowels. Do we have an I? Yep. Do we have an O? No. Do we have a U? Yes. Faithful. Faithful father. Okay. I hope you enjoyed doing that, that you would do that with your mom or dad or brothers or sisters or grandma or grandpa, okay? All right. Today, our letter is the letter G. G, we're doing great and glorious God. Great and glorious and glorious God. Maybe you've heard this song. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. We also sing another song um, that's in our song books about um, how great thou art. The chorus says, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Why is God great? Why is he a great and glorious God? Well, if you have um, some clay or some Play-Doh at home, stop the tape and run and get that now, okay? So that you can use it. Okay, you're back and we're gonna take our Play-Doh and I want you to make something out of it, okay? You can stop the tape. I'm gonna make something. You can stop it until you've gotten your thing made. Um, as I told the kids when I taught them this lesson, the kids that are fourth graders now, I am not an artist. So what you make is probably gonna be a lot better than what I can make, okay? Just a minute. I'm working on it. Okay. Mine's a worm. Or you could call it a snake, I guess. That's not very hard to do, huh? I just rolled the Play-Doh. Or one other thing I could do is... I could make... Snowman. 
That's my little snowman. But right now it looks like a pile of rocks because he doesn't have any eyes or nose or charcoal mouth or arms, stick arms. Um, another thing that you can make with rolling your Play-Doh out like this, if you roll it real thin, let me see if I can get this to work. Gotta get real thin and not have it fall apart on me while I'm making it real thin. Okay, let me see if this will work. Okay. Yes. You take it and you roll it. Roll it. And roll it. I learned this from a little girl who's a daughter of a friend of mine on Facebook. And you can make like a rose. And then you pinch the bottom of it. So it stands up. Or it could be a cinnamon roll. <laughs> okay. We can make stuff with clay or Play-Doh, can't we? We can make stuff with wood. We can make stuff with metal, stones, um, bricks. We just made a new little patio area and sidewalk in our backyard with brick pavers this summer. But when we make something, we have to have something to make it with, don't we? We can't just go, or, or I can't just say, cinnamon roll, and it's there, right? We can't do that. But our great and glorious God did that. He did that with the whole world. He created everything by just saying, let there be light. Let there be stars and moon in the sky. Let there be seas and fish and whales and octopus, octopi and dolphins and all kinds of creatures, crabs and lobsters in the waters. And let there be land and let there be trees and flowers and um vegetables and fruits and animals of all different kinds on the land. God did that just by the word of his mouth. That's why he's so great and glorious. And he's a good, good God. Scripture tells us he is the giver. There's another G word. Giver of every good and perfect gift. There's another G word, good. So we could say great, glorious, good giver God. Our God is good. Let's sing that song. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. God is so great. God is so great. God is so great. He's so good and great. Have a great day and remember your glorious and great God.